Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about configuring and securing ACR and AKS. So if we talk about ACR, which is Azure Container Registry, it allows you to build, store and manage container images and artifacts in a private registry for all types of container deployments. Whereas if you talk about uh, AKS, which is uh, Azure Kubernetes Service, so basically these Kubernetes clusters allows containers to run across multiple machines and environments whether it may be virtual, physical, cloud-based, or on-premises. So Kubernetes containers are not restricted to a specific operating system, unlike virtual machines. Instead, they are able to share operating systems and run anywhere. So this is some of the difference between these two. And uh, now we have to, so this is the architecture that we are going to create. Oh shit. So this is the architecture that we are going to create. So we'll be creating a resource group, and inside this, which will be having the services, and we also will be creating the Docker file. In the task two let's go ahead and uh, start this so there's uh, some error so that is the reason i couldn't show the few uh before commands so these are the commands that i have typed according to the github so this is the first command where we'll be creating uh, the resource group which is az500 lab09 and then we'll be creating uh, Then we'll be creating Azure Container Registry instance where you can see here it will be random. Instead, you can use your name. In this case, I've used MRT here, which is a unique name. And uh, once it is done, you can go to the task two, which is creating a Docker file and build a container and push it to Azure Container Registry. So for that, these are the commands that we have used. This is the first and this is the second command. So once it is done, uh, you can close the cloud shell and uh, you have to create the Kubernetes. For that, you have to go to your uh, resource groups. And here you can see the sure. So this is the resource group that we have created. And you can see the ACS that we have created, which is this one. And uh, here you can see our repositories, which is this. And there will be sample and jinx, which, and you can just make sure it's V1, which is the version one. So you can click that and you can review it. So once this is done, we can move to the task three, in which we have to create the Kubernetes service cluster. So for that, we have to search for Kubernetes. So you can search for, so, can see there is a Kubernetes service click that so this is the cluster that we have created uh, according to the docs let's go ahead and uh, try to see how to create that create a Kubernetes cluster and make sure you have a proper subscription and uh, the resource group that we have created recently which is is it 500 lab 09 and coming to the cluster name, it's my Kubernetes cluster. So which is this one. How I'll be getting here, so I'm just skipping it to one. So this is done and make sure it's East US and availability zones, remove everything and let it be none. So let it be everything in default and go to the next, which is uh, node pools and make sure it's not checked and if you go to the axis and make sure everything is default go to the networking and uh, in the networking use the azure uh, cni and rest everything keep it as a default so once it is done you can go to the next integrations and here, continue monitoring. Make sure it's disabled because we are not uh, using any log monitoring. So now we can go ahead and review and create it. So once this is done, you can go to the resource group. There will be a new resource group which will be created. So let me go back here. Let me go back resource groups. You can see this uh, resource group has been created. So you can click that to check all the nodes the AK nodes here so these are different uh, services that are running here so you can review them so once this is done 
you can uh, go back to the cluster you can open the bash shell and uh, here you have to use this particular command so this is used to connect to the kubernetes cluster once this is done you can use this command to list all the nodes in that particular uh, cluster so you can see these are three different nodes that are been running which are then make sure that the status is ready so once this is done we can move to task 4 so in the task 4 we have to use this uh, ACR instance that we have created for so this is the command for that so it will take a long time for this it took more than like 5 10 minutes for me and once this is done you have to grant AKS cluster the contributor role to this uh, virtual network that has been created so these are the commands related to that for this particular resource group and stuff so once this is done the next thing is task 5 so in the task 5 we have to deploy the external uh, service to AKS so for that First, we have to identify the name of the Azure Container uh, Registry by which you can see this is the command for that. So this is the ACR that we have created before. So once you do, you can uh, uh, you will there will be a prompt a command prompt which will be open, uh, and there at line twenty four you have to change change it to this particular. So let me show. Go to the bash and if you click this you can see there is other shell which has been opened and here in the line 24 you have to change your initially there will be other uh, uh, parameter you have to just change it to your acr so once that is uh, once that is done you can go to the next step so next you can go to the internal and uh, you can check whether they have been created or not so yeah so the next uh, task is task 6 so in this case you have to verify the uh, access the external aks hosted service so this is the particular command for that you can verify that it has been created so once this is done we can access this uh, nginx web page so so you can external ip and you can uh, paste here so you can see that it has been opened and we were success successfully able to open this so that is the one thing and uh, coming to task 7 similar command we have to use uh, this particular command and we have to do the changes that we have done in the previous task so similarly we have to add the you know the name there which is uh, uh, which is az500 mrt that we have created so once that is done oh shit okay charging so once that is done the next task is uh, we have to apply the changes to this cluster so which is done by this particular following command retrieves the information about the nginx internal service including name type ip and ports so this is the command and these are the parameters related to that and to get the ports information you can uh, try this particular command so once this is done you can uh, select the first pod so these are two different pods that we have and you can select the first pod and oh shit so you can select the first pod and uh, when you enter you can use this particular command this is the internal IP sorry the external IP uh, this is the one that we have used and even here you are successfully uh, able to open this ending server so 
I think this is uh, the video here and finally once it is done make sure you delete it so for that post let 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 open the powershell let me see the github he has given your powershell command so open the powershell confirm and make sure you delete it so here we have successfully configured and secured acr and aks and in the end we have to delete the resources so in the next few videos we'll be talking like more deep into this aks and acs so as of now hope you guys have understood uh, the github uh, uh, exercises if you have liked the video please like below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys